Hey guys, so today is Wednesday. I think it's been about a week since I did my last Happy Note video. And I have a lot to talk about, kind of. Um, see, my sister was in town for a friend of ours, as wedding reception celebration thing in Long Beach. And so I got to spend the day with Susie on Friday, which was really great. I haven't seen her in a while because she lives out in Seattle, or up in Seattle, whatever. Um, but yeah, so... It was really great seeing her, and then on Saturday, um, went out to Long Beach for the wedding reception, or wedding party, whatever. Um, it was really great. Congratulations to Josh and Melissa. You guys are awesome. Uh, your cake was really adorable. I can't tell you if it tasted good because, I, you know, no gluten thing. So, uh, people were saying it was really good, so, yeah. Oliver and I were just like kind of staring at everything like can't eat that because it has gluten but it's okay we went home and or no actually we went and got um, Hawaiian barbecue <laughs> after which really it was okay um let's see uh, that was Saturday Sunday I was pretty sick so I really didn't do anything but you know sometimes nice to spend the day in bed watching Netflix, I guess. I started watching Sons of Anarchy recently, and oh my god, uh, Netflix needs to hurry up and get season five, because I just finished season four, and I'm just like, need to watch more. Uh, and TV shows can be addicting. Um, but whatever, sometimes you just need that escape, I guess. But also, books are good for that. Don't forget about books. Um... I need a new book to read. I'm actually listening to a few audiobooks right now, or, and stuff <coughs> that Oliver gave me, so, yeah, but I need to get, like, a, a book, hold it in my hands, because, you know, books are awesome, and I love them. So, uh, yeah, I uh, don't know, what was I going to say? Oh, my birthday was yesterday. That was a fun thing that happened. Um, had a pretty good day. I had to go to work. And then I uh, had to run an errand for my boss. So like, so Oliver and I went and did that. Which was kind of nice to get away from the office in the middle of the day. It took up a lot of time. Which was great. Because, you know, the office is like a concrete box. And it was really hot there. So... That was fun, and then after work, we hung out, watched a movie, made some dinner. It was a really great day. That man's amazing, and try not to be too mushy, because I know that somewhere his cheeks are getting red as I talked about him. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Hmm. Oh. So, somebody had asked me, like, what the whole Happy Note thing was about, and, like, I just kind of linked them to the first video I did, and then later I found, or I saw, this, um, really great quote, quote and I can't remember it 100%, there's actually a lot of great quotes that I've seen lately, but there's one, and I can't remember what it said at all, and of course, I'm at school and I really don't have good internet reception in the parking lot, so can't look it up. It's something along the lines of, like, um, basically it's really easy to remember, or it's really easy to remember the, the bad things in life because they leave scars, and that's why it's hard to remember the good things in life because they don't leave scars and stuff, and that's kind of, like, the point. Oh, no, this is melting. That's kind of the point of, um of happy note is to just, you know, acknowledge the positive because life can be pretty shitty and it's really important to talk about the good things that are going on and like the fun things and the things that bring smiles to your face because bring a smile to your face because there are a lot of things out there trying to do the opposite. Um, let's see another good quote that I saw on Tumblr the other day, maybe I think it was yesterday. Um, it said like Something like, comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. And it was just like a smack in my face. 
Because that's one thing about me is I don't like getting out of my comfort zone. It's really hard. And this year I've actually been trying really, really hard not to, to just stay in my comfort zone. I've been trying really hard to make sure I do more things that I wouldn't normally do. What? Um, yeah, so... Um, you know, like the other day we were at the mall and we went to Lush and ended up getting a facial because, I don't know, I guess I told her I used, the girl I used Neutrogena to wash my face and she was like, oh my god, I need to give you a facial. I was like, okay, uh, sure, I guess. And then I was really uncomfortable the whole time, but, you know, I lived through it and my skin was really soft for the rest of the day, so hey, what's the harm? Um, and that's also one reason I'm doing these videos is because it's somewhat, it's still kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't know. I think anybody putting them, themselves out there into the world is just out of their com comfort zone. Well, I shouldn't say anyone because there's some people who are just super outgoing and love that stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of stuff and things. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by people driving. Um, that was probably a weird face. Yeah, not a lot going on though. Those, those were great coats that I liked. Um, so, I think, oh wow, this video is already like six minutes, so I'm gonna go. And I hope that you guys are having a great day and week and oh I'm really excited for Friday because I'm going to see Fall Out Boy with Oliver for the second time this summer which is pretty great um just can't quit Fall Out Boy I thought I quit him I thought I could do it and then they just put out another great album and it's just like Ugh, can't quit you Fall Out Boy I just can't You're too good um but yeah that should be a lot of fun. They're playing with Panic at the Disco this time. The first time we saw them in the beginning of the summer, they, uh, New Politics was with them, and oh my god, New Politics is amazing live. They are, well, they're amazing still, but they're amazing live. There's so much energy, and their stage presence is just, like, they should have their own tour, like, be headlining their own tour. They're so amazing and really great. And... <coughs> My voice is going, for some reason, to probably the Starbucks. But it's so good. Anyways, um, hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are doing fun and exciting things, stepping out of your comfort zone. And actually, I would like you guys to tell me what things you've done lately or want to do. I don't know. Just tell me. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. I'm not, I'm not scary. I'm a nice little blonde girl who can't speak properly because she's really nervous in front of the camera. And so, yeah, that's, if you guys are ever wondering why I'm always fumbling over my words, it's because you make me nervous. Okay, I'm going for now, going for real now. Um, that didn't, see? See what you do to me? See what you do, internet? Okay, I'm done. For real. You're not gonna watch this nine minute video. So, if you stay to the end, I, you're awesome. And I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with me.